What's up, good people? And let's get right into it as we talk about a great human being, a great man right now, uh, Dr. Robert Crothers. Uh, Dr. George Robert Crothers, sorry about that. In case you guys have never heard of Dr. George Robert Crothers, don't be surprised. A lot of people haven't. And even in Black History Month, I have not heard about George Robert Crothers, which is shocking to me. Because this guy is the epitome of what science was all, all about. And with the success of Hidden Figures, I'm thinking maybe they should bring this movie out. Because I've already asked for this before I even knew anything about Hidden Figures. George Crothers is really known for his ultraviolet camera that he put on the Apollo 16 Commander. That camera revolutionized how we see the universe. Not only that, it revolutionized how we do CAT scans, MRIs, how we made modifications to that technology to go further. You know, we've discovered things that, you know, molecular hydrogen exists in the interstellar medium. You know, we, by him being, uh, born here in Chicago, Illinois and graduating from Inglewood High School and he went and got a bachelor degree in aeronaut, you know, aeronautica engineering and went to the, you know, from the U of I got a master degree in nuclear engineering in 62 this is somebody who was completely accomplished, his father was a civil engineer and his father always pushed for him to go to the museums, go learn things at the planetarium and science. And his son just de developed, you know, a love for this. He built his first telescope at 10. See, that's why I encourage parents to really get involved with your kids. Their first seven years is very important. It's so important. Don't just be in their lives like I was around. Do something with your kids. Take them to the museum. Blow off that club for one night. Take them to the museum. Take them to the planetarium. It's it's very needful for a child to see these things as they're developing. Because if you just get them an iPad and sit them down in the corner, what you're doing is damaging them. You're damaging them for life. Because they're going to always be dependent on someone else to fix something for them and not wanting to go or have ambition to go out and do things. Their ambition is always going to be pleasure oriented first. Whatever is to fix their needs. So what you're doing is conditioning a child to become a 30, 40 year old video game player who only wants to get a job to support their video game habits. That's what you're creating. But um, back to the doctor. You know, I pitched this idea to Will Smith. Why? Because Will Smith looks exactly like him. So I pitched this idea to Will Smith and his... Um, and his wife, I mean, not his wife, but his team at Overbrook. They, they were filming Annie at the time. And I pitched this, uh, I pitched this whole idea that he should play Dr. Crothers. And the information came back um, that they were happy that somebody, it's a great idea. And I didn't want any money from it. I just felt... You guys are the right people that could pull this off. Will Smith could play him. It would go off the charts. So I don't know. It could still be in the works. This is like 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been that time. But it was, uh, 
they were doing Annie and they were going through a lot at the time so I don't know if they just didn't get the funding for the project or or what happened but it was it was definitely one for the ages uh, I think this film would definitely go off and like I told them when I, I said Barack President Barack Obama has put an award and a medal around his neck if they can make a movie about the butler, they definitely can make a movie about Dr. Krebs. He got the National Medal of Technology and Innovation Award at the White House from Barack Obama. You think he's not worth a movie? We used to watch in the public schools. They had the, um, he used to teach a course. We used to watch a cassette tape. Yeah, VCR tapes. We used to watch a VCR tape of Dr. Crothers teaching us science and helping the teachers out in our science class. Unfortunately, these younger generations, you guys might not even know what a science class is right now. And that's a shame. But they actually used to teach us things. And his telescope right now is in the National Air and Space Museum in case you wanted to go check it out. And I suggest that everyone at least go see it for one, for their own eyes, you know, put their own eyes on it. So, but yes, you tell me Will Smith shouldn't play him. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>